Wonderful good day to the metal update on Commodity TV, ladies and gentlemen. Too many or too few metals for the energy transition, e-mobility and renewable energies? That is the question. What are the expectations for the future? Let's start right away with nickel. The INSG International Nickel Study Group expects a nickel surplus for 2023 of about 60,000 tons. As with other metals, this stems from the weak post-pandemic recovery in China. However, we think this will only be a temporary phenomenon. Because India is now coming up with more every year. What are the forecasts to 2023? The shift from cobalt-rich batteries to high nickel content chemical plants has led to increasing nickel demand. Of course, this could change with a switch to nickel-free lithium-iron phosphate batteries, which have an increasing market share. Additional demand is likely to come from hydrogen electrolyzers and increasing steel demand for large wind farms and turbines. Also important is the future demand situation from the non-energy sector, which could then also provide additional supply. So much for the demand side. The supply side has seen increased supply from Indonesia in recent years. In addition, more supply from the Philippines and Canada is now entering the market in the future. However, there may be some challenge in terms of high purity for class 1 nickel and refined nickel sulfate used in batteries. Furthermore, we see problems in Indonesian supply derived from the laterite in terms of production routes, emission intensity and power generation from coal to extract the nickel. Large nickel projects quickly have built up times of 15 to 20 years. There is almost nothing of that in the world. Indonesia has moved much fast, but much has been at the expense of the environment. If you look at the 10 largest nickel projects in the world as of 2022, you might get the impression that it would not be a problem. But this is far from being the case. The first two projects lie in the sea. And until there is the dismantling, cost covering times begins, nobody knows. Number three looks good because it is located in Indonesia. Number four, Blumont is to be sold and then one sees further. Number five, Turnagain also looks good, but is at least eight to 10 years away from production. Twin metals number six is still in the stars because first of all, only concessions are renewed and above all, nickel is only a byproduct there. Number seven, Chakar could be something, but this will take at least five years or more. Number eight, Dekar is in the PEA status. This is easily a 10 to 12 year pass to production. Number nine, Mesaba is in exploration status, which is at least 10 to 15 years away from production. That leaves number 10, Crawford Nickel, which has developed massively in the last 12 months and is already working on a small production with, which could start in two years with Canada Nickel. Also, the resources have grown further and one would be able to store even CO2 in the tailings, which becomes more and more important for CO2 neutral production. For large-scale production, it will take at least five years. But the cash flow positive startup production lowers the risk of further project development significantly. We see Canada Nickel as well positioned in the global nickel market. The share is undervalued. The chart shows a double bottom around 125 to 130 Canadian dollars. And we see lately we saw a lot of insider buying. For us, this is a good entry opportunity. If the price turns, it should first go to 225 to 250 Canadian dollars. After that, we see a price target of 4 Canadian dollars. Greenshift Commodities, formerly U308 Corporation, is focused on the exploration and development of commodities needed to help to decarbonize and meet net zero goals. The company is developing the Berlin deposit in Colombia. Apart from uranium for clean nuclear energy, the Berlin deposit contains battery commodities, including nickel, phosphate and vanadium. We think the share price makes sense to get a starting position in the stock. Please note the disclaimer superimposed now. The shares discussed are part of the SRC Mining Specialization Certificate or will become. And I'm a shareholder of the companies. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Austria.